where do I start, where do I begin? It don't even matter, I'm just going in. Yeah. Okay. So state your name and your label for me. My name is Scooter Cease, and my label is Cease 5 Production. What's the name your mama gave you? My you real name? Have, you don't have to say it if you're not comfortable. No, nah, I'll say my real name. My real name is Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie Marvin right. Seas. Since I was going down, I heard them boys hitting on me. I'm a killer with success. My mind on the million bus around, taking the breaks. No way. Alright, so how old were you when you started rapping? And what inspired you to start? Um, well, I first started off making beats back in uh, 2008 in the high school. Mm -hmm. I made beats for a couple years. And I got deployed. Came back from Afghanistan and actually started uh, rapping. So I was about, how old was I? About 22, 23. I started kind of late. So, yeah. yeah. Never thought a local, I've been thinking major. Yeah. Pay me for my services, I'm doing no favors. The one here, wanted like he back again. They want me to fail, but all I do is I heard wait. them boys hitting on me, I'ma kill them with success. So you got a military background. I mean, that doesn't interfere with your music, obviously. How do you work well, I'm reserved. I can't do the active duty thing. Cause oh, if I, I did the active time. duty thing, I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to do music full time. Yeah. So it, it would mess me up. So that's why I, if I, I figure I'm gonna do music. I need to go reserve. I still gonna be in the military. Yeah. Don't try to play me when I'm I swear I'll blow you off the map. I'm military. That's a fact. What the people wanna know? What's up? Independent, unsigned. I mean, hits dope. Yeah. It's been some cars, flashy jewelry. Yeah, that's all that's me. All I learned the game mad at young and 23. Ah. Now I'm 25, and I'm all about a check. So, what advice would you give the younger school to see? Learn the business, take it more serious, be, be more professional. Get yeah. professional artwork, professional recording, and just learn the business. You know, that's it. About it. About it. Wanna show for me, please show me my deposit five with my room, with my bottles, with my gas money. So who would you collab with on like a local level? We'll start there. Um, local level, I collaborated with uh some artists that I got on my album. Like uh Geechee Lord, Yazzy, um, the old one person I haven't collabed yet with uh is uh B Kittle. Yeah. I wanna get her on the track. She go hard, so I want to work with her. I agree. Yo, girl, love my voice. Ain't you love how I flow, nigga? Hell yeah, I want that money. It's been so cold, slash your jewelry. Boy, don't judge if you don't know me. So on a more of a global level, who would you want to collab with? Global level, I have to say uh, Ace Hood, because that's my favorite artist. I love how Ace Hood is. Like everything about him. Like, I feel like I'm the younger Ace Hood. They say I'm underrated. I'm just misunderstood. They can't compare to me. I wish somebody would. Say I'm the underdog. Yeah, I'm just mistaken. They say my song's hot. Compare me next to Satan. I swear I can't sleep. Because they sleeping on me. So, what is one thing that you would change about the industry if you could, like, one thing that I wish could change, mm -hmm. um, like how it used to be back in the day, like you could go to the label, play your music, and they would put you on. Instead of now, they want you to have these thousands and millions of fans already. You know, it's, it's a lot harder, you know. But mm -hmm. there's people actually out here with talent, you know, they can actually rap and do the, do it the right way instead of people who just got money and no talent, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it makes it kind of harder harder on the artists who actually got talent. So. I, can, I can see that. A lot of different answers on that, but that was a good one. Yeah. Nobody really said that. Nobody see my struggle, struggle, but they see my trouble. That's why I'm in the streets. Every day I gotta hustle. I'm on stage drunk, drunk. and people know this day. I swear I'm killing shit. I, I need a body bag, and I got plenty hands. It's just my motivation. The more that people hate me. The more they make me famous. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years? I will not be in Charleston, probably. Um, I always be home, though, but I mean, I see myself living in Miami or Atlanta. 
millionaire. Hopefully by next year. I won't say five years. I'll say next year. Okay, that's goals now. But yeah, I'm, I'm aiming for it. <laughs> Because the way stuff going right now is kind of going in my direction. So it's going kind of, mm -hmm. going kind of good. No competition, cause all I do is win. Shout out to DJ Cali, cause DB make it his. My final destination, make sure my family good. Make sure my niggas straight, everybody out the hood. So what is your best project and why? Um, my, my best project is my project, my album I just released last year, last August. It's called Undiscovered Underdog. Pretty much, title is pro, pretty much self-explanatory. You know, I'm I'm not discovered yet, and I, until I get discovered, I'm gonna feel like the underdog. Right. I know you niggas, man. Tell me what you see. I'm undiscovered. I'm underrated. I'm undiscovered. I'm underrated. I'm underrated. I got so many bangers on my album. I don't know which one to pick. You gotta like one more than the other. Like I like all of it, really, because I actually took my time and did that. Like, yeah. put my all into that project. So, um, probably the very first song, the introduction to to my to my album is actually called um, "Killing with Success." And that's currently the single that I'm really, really pushing right now, too. And that's the one that's really making the most noise, too, so. Mm. So you right. pass the, I mean, you passed the other one. I, I like that one. First. I like that one, too. You know, but I mean, that's yeah. why I got so many. I don't know which one to pick. I got that, Fingers Itching, Twerk. Like, all of those songs have right. done, I made pretty much noise. So I don't know which one to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Another Baby Breeze production. Hey, where my twerk is at? 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 Hey, hey, hey. That's just fine. Okay, so does your music speak to who you really are? Oh yeah, I'm always gonna be me. I'm not trying to be nobody else. Like for what I say, I mean it, and it's gonna reach out to whoever can relate to it. So I'm always gonna be me, 100. percent If you a bad bitch and your pussy good, and every time you walk past, you make a nigga look. Let me see ya twerk, twerk, twerk. Let me see ya twerk, 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 twerk. If you a red bone, or you dark skin, it don't matter long as you like to get it. why it's easy for me to write. It's real easy for me to write. Yeah. Because anything I really put out, either I'm going through it, I've done it, or, or one of them two. The last question, how do you want your fans to see, to view you? And what do you want them to know about you if they don't already know through your music? Um, well, if you really want to know me, listen to my album, because um, I pretty much talk about everything, the ups, the downs, Good, the bad, the success, the fails, pretty much everything you supposed to hear in the album. But um, that's how you really get to know me. And I actually do have a documentary coming out in about another month, month and a half too. So you really, really get to know me. You see a lot more like family, friends, uh, just stuff you normally don't see on Facebook and social media and stuff like that. I know we don't put none of my business out on social media. Everything is just strictly business, strictly music. And I Snapchat a little different story. <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat a little different story. No Face, worry, Facebook, Twitter, you know, Instagram, that's mostly like yeah. the, just the music business wise. Yeah, but your Snapchat you get loose. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so speaking of the next, we can give you a chance to plug yourself. Wherever you Snapchat, Instagram, wherever you are, mm -hmm. you want people to follow you, see you. Follow me everywhere on all social media at Scooter Seas. That's S C O O D A S E A S E. That's S C O O D A S E A S E. Follow. Me.
ready to go. It's a rock bottle popping by the probia folk. In the VIP section, I got money to blow. See a dog, good lord, how she shaking that ass? How she slowing down on me, then start bouncing it fast. Got a nigga rock hard, baby girl, I swear. Make your ass pet your leases to that dick in here. If you a bad bitch, can your pussy good? And every time you walk that you make a nigga look. Let me see ya, twerk, twerk, let me see ya, twerk, 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 twerk. If you a red bone, or, or, or you dark skin, it don't matter long, they just like to get it in. Let me see ya, twerk, 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 let me see ya, twerk, 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 twerk.